All right, so these days when it comes to content consumption, whether it is watching movies, playing games, or maybe enjoying a game of sports with your family, it's all more fun and immersive on a big screen. We all love big screen experiences, but these big screens are not very affordable and portable, you know? You can't take them everywhere you go, and they're kind of heavy on your pocket. But in today's video, we take a look at one such product from Epson. This is their EHTW650 home cinema projector, which promises that big screen experience is portable and affordable at the same time. So in today's video, let's review it. Alright, so not only about the projector and its specifications, you have a 1920 to 1080 resolution, so full HD, you have 16 to 9 aspect ratio and a 15,000 to 1 contrast ratio. So the black levels are pretty good. And one more impressive feature is the white light as well as the color light output, which is over you know 3,100 lumens. And they're both equal, so you get 3,100 lumens of color light output as well as 3,100 lumens of white light output, which is pretty impressive in my opinion. So now talking about design and build quality of this projector, it is completely made out of plastic, but it's a really good quality plastic, so no creaking or flexing or anything like that. You have a really you know, smooth, glossy finish throughout the projector, apart from the bottom, which is matte. It is compact, it's small, but it has a weight to it, so it doesn't feel cheap or anything like that. It feels very premium in the hand. And yeah, it is very portable at the same time. And on the top, you have your adjustments and your dials. So you have a dial for zoom as well as focus, as well as the tilt functionality, which can, you know, tilt the image in different directions. And yeah, towards the top, you have your power LED as well as your power button to turn on the projector and a bunch of controls that can, you know, let you adjust the projectors, you know, horizontal as well as vertical axes and stuff like that, the keystone adjustment. But all this can also be done with the remote that's provided, which has all the functions of your projector. So if you have this, you know, thing ceiling mounted or anything like that, you need not worry and reach out to the buttons. You can use the remote and yeah, it takes two AA batteries and that should last you, you know, quite a long while if you're not like using the remote too much. And yeah, I really appreciate this remote. It's got, you know, buttons that are tactile and just gets the job done, you know? It's got all the functions of the projector on the remote, so that's a really good thing. And towards the bottom, you have your height adjustment as well as your incline adjustment, so you can set it up to a really comfortable height that's, you know, good for you, as well as the angle that you want the projector to be. And yeah, there's a foot that drops down that lets you, you know, decide the angle and just you know set it up the way you want all right so not talking about ports and setting up the projector itself the ports are very neatly laid out on the back of the projector so you have two hdmis one usb type a one usb type b you also have vga for old school computers you have old school audio and video so composite ports and you have your power connector and yeah it's a really good you know selection of ports like this is the whole scale, the whole spectrum of inputs and outputs. And there's also a speaker on this projector, which is not half bad, but I still recommend something, you know, external, maybe from your side, a home theater or a you know, PC speaker system, something like that to get, you know, better audio. The, you know, projector also supports wireless functionality. So by downloading their eye projection app, you can project from a PC, laptop, or even a phone. So yeah, connect it to Wi-Fi, and then you can make use of that functionality. And you know, talking about performance of the projector itself, towards the right, you have this ventilation port where hot air is, you know, dissipated and just blown out of the projector. And it kind of makes a slight fan noise as well, but won't be noticeable, won't be like, you know, distracting you from the content on the screen itself. And talking about setting it up, just provided power as well as the output source. So connect it to maybe a laptop or a PC and yeah, just turn it on via the power button. And from there on, you can control it using the remote or just the you know buttons on top. And talking about actual performance, the display quality of this projector is absolutely amazing. So it's a full HD image, 16 to 9. The contrast is really good. The colors are really punchy, very accurate. The colors are very accurate. That was very surprising. It gets really bright. I think 50% brightness is enough for nighttime. And yeah, I wouldn't recommend going too bright either. Like it'll kind of hinder your experience. But the projector itself has a really beautiful image. And yeah, it's really contrast as I said gaming is possible so you have a different you know bunch of modes on this projector so cinema sports dynamic as well as game mode so yeah the you know refresh rate on the projector is also very good and yeah content consumption gaming video watching movie watching was a really good experience on this one and you can use this for you know commercial purposes as well for PPTs and just educational stuff 
And other than that, the remote works as it's supposed to and the projector is really good in my opinion. And for a price of 59,000, I think if you are, you know, looking for that big screen experience, a really good quality big screen experience with portability and affordability in mind, I think the Epson EH-TW650 should be a good choice and I definitely recommend it from my side. I'll leave all the details and all the specifications if you want to learn more about this projector in the description down below so I'll leave the link to the website and also a link to buy this projector if you are interested. Alright so now talking about the lamp inside this projector, it is durable for up to 4500 hours on normal mode and 7500 hours on economy mode and that's pretty good for normal you know day to day average you know usage even if you're watching like one movie a day. It should lost you a very long time and to replace it it'll cost you 5000 rupees so again that's not really bad and other than that you know the vertical refresh rate is 192 hertz to 240 hertz and talking about the ui of the projector the software inside it is again very neatly laid out very intuitive simple to understand and navigate you know around you can get all your settings dialed in if you're moving from another you know previous projector or something like that you can carry for all your settings here as well and yeah you can change the brightness the mode the color mode itself the contrast and the horizontal position the vertical position you can you know tinker around with the internet capabilities and all the you know features are laid out very neatly and you can navigate using the remote or just the buttons on top of the projector i recommend the remote because it's easier Alright, so now coming to the end of this review, you know, concluding with some of the highlight features. It is very bright and colorful with the 3100 lumens of white light as well as color light output. You have a wide range of connectivity options including HDMI, you know, old school composite as well as VGA. You also have internet functionality and split screen functionality. So you can display content from two different input sources simultaneously on a single screen. Really good feature again. And yeah, download the iProjection app to use the internet capabilities. And yeah, this will retail for upwards of 59,000 rupees. And in my opinion, it's a decent projector for that price. Actually, you know, pretty good value for money. And you can definitely buy it if you're interested in this kind of big screen experience. And thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then go ahead and like this video as well as comment down below. What do you think about this projector? What are your thoughts? Do you prefer a projector or a display or a big TV? What is, you know, your thoughts on this video? Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.